Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP. Today I'm going to show you how to make the famous Peking duck. Yes, that's right, we're going there. We're going to make the Peking duck. All right, let's get on with it. The first thing I've got is a duck that I've just purchased from my uh, local supermarket. It's around about 2.2 kilo, this particular one. So he's quite a big duck. As you can see, I'm bondaging up his legs so I can... Uh, have a little string to hang on to so I can hang him over a bowl. And what we need to do is with hot boiling water, that if boiling uh, isn't hot, I don't know what is. And all we're simply going to do is pour that boiling water all over the skin of the duck. That's really going to tighten that skin up and give us that beautiful, nice, crunchy skin that everybody loves when they're eating Peking duck. All right, so just make sure we uh, get that water all over and in restaurants they do it slightly differently they'll actually use a, a ladle and do it with a wok this isn't a restaurant this is just my kitchen so we're just going to do this nice and simply as you can see i've got a rack with a tray i'm just going to put that duck straight down like that and i'm going to refrigerate that for a minimum of six hours overnight is even better and that's going to really dry that skin out and make it go nice and crunchy will help make it go nice and crunchy when we cook it all right, so I'm going to leave that for around about 12 hours-ish, maybe a little bit more, and we'll come back and do the rest of it. So in a little bowl here, I've got around about six star anise. They've just gone straight in like that. We're going to add in around about a three centimeter piece of ginger, which I've just cut up into nice little chunks, and a few garlic cloves, about six or seven of those. They go in about six spring onions. We're just using the whites only can go straight into that little uh, tub as well and I'm going to add in around about two tablespoons worth of hoisin sauce use a good quality hoisin sauce buy it from your local Asian grocer you'll be get pretty much guaranteed of getting a good one there right now we're making up our glaze I've got uh, around about two tablespoons worth of honey about a quarter teaspoon of Chinese fire spice powder about three teaspoons of white vinegar and around about a tablespoon of a good quality soy sauce all right we can just mix that up if that honey is too thick pop it in the microwave for about 20 seconds maximum and it'll make things nice and easy to stir up so what we need to do is mix all of that up and as you can see that honey is a little bit gluggy the microwave will just make that go nice and uh, viscous if that's uh, the right word to use right here's our duck nice and dry we're going to open up the duck cavity just like that and all we need to do is put all those beautiful aromats that we just made up inside the actual cavity itself so just pour all of those in and try and get it in one go i made a meal of this um my MS symptoms have been really bad the last couple of weeks and uh, we've got new episodes of uh, Cooking with MS coming up shortly, believe me. So we're just going to uh, stuff the duck full of that beautiful star anise and the garlic and the ginger and the uh, spring onion. I'm just going to use a skewer and close up the cavity. That way uh, when we cook, nothing's going to fall out. It's exactly what we want. So just use that like a nice great big needle we can go straight through and now we've got our glaze and we can start painting our duck I'm going to do it uh, all over the duck make sure we get a, a nice coating on and this is going to give it a beautiful flavor and a beautiful color and help make everything go nice and crispy at the end make sure we get both sides as you can see I'm doing that on a rack over a uh, foil lined baking tray the reason I'm doing that this little uh, base that we put on is sticky and I want to make it nice and easy for it to clean up. We've put that in at uh, 180 degrees. It's been sitting there for around about 20 minutes and around about every 20 minutes or so, we're going to give this a nice little uh, coat of this beautiful lacquer. And this duck, 2.2-ish kilos, takes only around about an hour and a half, maybe an hour 45. Okay, so just keep doing that all the way through and before you know it, we're going to have this most amazing looking duck. How good does that look? Looks like I just got it from a restaurant, doesn't it? Nope, 
we cook that in our oven. The original idea was to actually cook this on the rotisserie in the barbecue, but technical difficulties uh, came up and we couldn't do that. If you don't know how to serve up Peking duck properly, all we need to do is remove the meat from the, uh, the actual bird itself. I use a meat cleaver, use whatever you want, and this is the way you actually do it. You get your pancake, I couldn't find those, so I'm just using a little flour tortilla. A little bit of hoisin sauce goes down, like that. I'm gonna put in some cucumber strips, like that. A little bit of spring onion. I'm gonna add in some duck, and all we simply have to do there is fold it and eat it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, hit that like button. It gives me confidence. It should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. Hit that notification bell. You'll be notified every time a new video goes up. Please share this video with all your friends on all platforms of social media. More importantly, you want to learn how to make an absolutely beautiful Chinese classic just like this. Well, you need to come and join the family, my family. Hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. All right, as you can see, I've already eaten my Peking duck pancake. And I will catch you next time. Bye.